Welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel this Friday morning. Friday! Day two of Halloween. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. As you all are tuning in, share with us what you all think of Halloween. Let us know where you're visiting from. Let us know what's going on in your neck of the woods. Happy, happy Friday. I mean, wow. Wow. This is a holiday weekend. It is a holiday weekend. Absolutely. And I'm so excited. I mean, I'm pumped up. We have a sleepover happening tonight. I know. Um, it's going to be so much fun. We have an amazing project for day two here, um, Halloween. We have amazing fall sale for anyone that needs to grab their membership to craft alongside us. Um, it is incredible. Like, hello. How are you all doing? Lauren, how are you? I am doing great this Friday morning. It's I starting to feel more and more like fall every, every day. Every single day. And I'm the type of person, like, and growing up, like, summer, obviously, as a kid, like, summer yeah. was my jam. And then I moved, I transitioned into, like, mm, fall is my jam. And then I went back for a couple years, like, mm, nope, I just want all summer yeah. all the time. And now I'm going back to that. I think Give me fall, all the fall. So I think as we, I, personally about me, as I get older, I feel like fall has a really good routine. Like summer is so sporadic. Everyone's traveling, this and that. But yeah. fall, you're consistent. This is the first day I got five workouts in a row and probably since we got the twins. Yeah. Um, so that's, inc that's crazy. I feel good. Um, everything's so good and I love fall decorating like fall crafts I mean look at this look at the I set mean, it's such a vibe we were talking yesterday um, I, and I love fall um, but you know me and Alicia are more like Halloween, Halloween people yeah but we still love fall and I was telling Alicia that I feel like anymore it's Halloween um, from like September 1 to October yeah. and then I go straight into Christmas yes. and then to me anymore Thanksgiving is a pre-Christmas celebration. We, <laughs> I don't really, I'm, I don't decorate for Thanksgiving. We put out our tree last year. I think it was up lit by Halloween, like it on was. Halloween. It we, was. We, we did it. it we did it. So it was really fun. Yeah, because you all had just bought it and we were like, we're not going to put this up <laughs> just to get it back out. Yeah, yeah. So we just went ahead and put it up. It was so much fun. So hello, everyone. I hope you all are having a great day. Today, we're making a really fun project. And I think on top of 
working with faux leather, which, spoiler alert, super easy to cut. The most. Like, like butter. I'm telling you, like, if you were ever concerned about cutting faux leather, please don't be concerned. Well, I mean, you're going to see today that it's yeah. really easy to do. And then I'm going to teach you some really fun hacks about design space. We're going to teach you some really fundamental elements of design space that will help you not just in this project, but it'll be something that these core um, trainings will kind of elevate you to have in the back pocket to pull out as you're needing different things. We're going to design our own pendant out of basic shapes. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then what we're also going to be able to do is just kind of teach you guys how to manipulate some of your fonts. We have some amazing new cut files at makersgonnalearn.com. They launched, was it yesterday? Yesterday. yesterday. And let me tell Ooh. you, the people have been, what I have seen, have been loving them. Now, I love mm, them. I do too. I love them. Here's what's happening. Last month, I thought was y'all's favorite collection launch. But then this month, everyone's like, no, this is my favorite. Yeah. So really, guys, if you are a Makers Gonna Learn member and you're not going over there, there's a thousand brand new cut files. Go over there, download your new cut files, grab them while they're hot, start mm -hmm. getting crafty with them this weekend. This is Labor Day weekend. Our lakes are draining out. This so is the, a great weekend the to pools get crafty. Are, yeah, the pools are closing down. It's time to get crafty. It's time to have a handmade holiday. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to do it with us here at Makers Gonna Learn. So, yay. Oh, oh my gosh. Angela. Oh, An oh my Angel. gosh. Angel, excuse me. You, she said, thank you. I'm so lost with my cricket. Y'all are in the right me, place. That you are in the right place, especially with today's um, real training. Like Tanner said, it's very very basic we're still going to be using makers going to learn fonts um so you will have to be a member to use the font that we use but really and truly this is like basic shapes how to manipulate those how to um put yeah. weld them together like it's it's gonna be awesome yes it's gonna be awesome um ta there why are there so many duplicates this time you there's probably no duplicates but there are some that's specific for different areas of life like you may see some of the same designs with different um, phrases and things like that. We did try to do that because we have gotten so much feedback from people saying, hey, Tanner, I don't want to have to customize this. Like, I would like to have aunt, uncle, nephew, like all of the different, you know, mm -hmm. names already there for me. And here at Makers Gonna Learn, we just want to make it easier for you all to craft. So if that means we give you more variety with some of your favorite designs, we're going to do that. So we love that. Yay! Oh my gosh, yes. Join Makers Gonna Learn. When you join, you get our Cricut curriculum. You get access to thousands of cut files. You get access to hundreds of, or almost a thousand fonts. And I think we're over 7,000 cut files, which is just unbelievable. So, if you need to join today, there's a coupon code. Use the coupon code FALL, F-A-L-L, at checkout for $30 off. Now, this is an awkward time of the year where mm -hmm. everyone's like, do I hold out for the best deal of the year, do I hold out for a Black Friday special? You know, that's the things that as a buyer, like I think about, and I don't let you all know, there is a $10 difference between today's offer and our best deal of the year. Now, I wanna let you all know, crafting with us starting the beginning of fall, to go a full 365 days at Makers Gonna Learn, yeah, you are going to get more than $10, that difference in value by getting plugged in today. You're going to make more crafts. You're going to have more creating. You're going to have more finished projects, and that's what we're all about. And I spent $11 on mine and Lauren's coffee today. So, I mean, it was, you know, it's a no-brainer. It's yeah. a no-brainer <laughs> uh, to go ahead and grab it. So it's a great deal. Um, we love it. The, the new website, oh, my goodness, we're getting so close. Yeah, I know we promised the website. I feel like we, we promised it a while ago, but it's been one of those things. We that, haven't promised, no. No, we, we, did. we been, just said by the end of the year. We're Yeah, yeah, we've been hinting around it. We're, we just showed the internal team recently because it's been months of tidbits. But, but the work that's been going into this. Yeah. Courtney has dedicated her so time. much time, <laughs> like all of her all time. Of her time. I, we've not seen her in the craft room. I mean, she comes in and out every now and then. A but lot of it is just working with the, we've had multiple teams on this project. Yeah. Never before have we had quality assurance. We have a quality assurance team. We have like a design team. Then we have like a branding t team that's not Courtney to kind of just throw, like consultant. So we've added a lot more people, which slows the process down, but it kind of cleans a lot up. Like if you look at our current site, I mean, that website was built 
within three or like three months, two or three months. Um, but that was like full time efforts between a lot of us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, slowing it down just makes it so much better. So you'll really enjoy it when it launches. We'll keep you up to date. I personally didn't realize ha truly how long it takes to build a website until being here. And I know you all may not understand that either, but it takes so For long. For a website at our caliber with so many pages, so many um, unique functions that have to work together, ours is a membership community. So when you get a membership, you're getting a whole experience, right? Mm -hmm. We have to think about, you know, as a user, where you're gonna go on a daily basis, what features you're using, how to clean that up and make it look really, really awesome. So, yay, I love it. Kathy did also make a comment. When she does it on her phone, it's difficult to navigate. Our new mobile, that's, that's one a huge... of the reasons why it's taken so long is because Courtney's been working on the computer version or the, the desktop mobile version, version and the mobile version. Then there's that odd tablet version. So yeah. everything's going to be very compatible between your Mac, your PC, your iPad, your iPhone, your Android. All of those devices have to work seamlessly together. So anyway, just that's your little update for um, our new website. I yep. love getting you guys up to date. Guys, did you all know we're giving away a Cricut Maker? maker. Why, how did you, did you draw this? I drew it. Lauren. It was the first day. I didn't think, listen, it was, we spun the wheel. <laughs> I landed on treat. This I don't is know. crazy. I really hope you land on treat today. Oh my gosh. Because I want to know what the tricks are. I don't even know. Alicia was the one that put she, the tricks in there. Alicia's crazy. So it's untelling what she put in there. But I have a winner today. And we want to announce the winner early in the show to find out if we're giving away a trick or treat for today. Yeah. So, da 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 da! Our winner of the Cricut Maker, Maker. from yesterday is... Miss Tina Warrior! Congratulations! Yay. Oh my goodness! Let's Yay. see if she's here. Tina, are you here? Let us know. Oh, we no. have another... No. She's not. T the okay, Tina. it's Tina Warrior. I think it's Tina... Uh, Her YouTube name is Tina, a true, a true warrior. warrior. Sorry, I was re I was reading a true as middle name. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a true. Her Silly YouTube job. name is name is Tina, Tina a, a true, true warrior. warrior. I love that. Well, Tina, congratulations! You have won our Cricut Maker Three. Be sure to go ahead and send us an email hi at makersgonnalearn.com with your best shipping address because yes. we want to get you that machine to help you get crafty this holiday season. So, woohoo! We Tina. have been having people ask, how do you win? Listen, you're here. You're commenting on the live YouTube. Yep. You are entered for tomorrow because we go if back If we through. have a giveaway. If we have a giveaway. Yes. We have to see later on if it's a trick or a treat. We're treat. about to head over and we'll do it now. So we we're going to do be, it now? We're going to do it early in the show. I don't, okay. I, I don't like to have to wonder what we're going to end up with. So what we're going to do. Yep. To kind of twofold, Halloween is 13 days. So we thought to add fun, we would add the little spinning wheel. If we land on trick, then you, there's, there's like a, a funny there's some thing. Kind of, there's something in this trick box. We don't know. If we land on treat, then y'all we'll, get a giveaway. Y'all get a, yes. We and then pick we out pick. of the pumpkin and we give away that yeah. the next day. Yeah. So let's head over here. Let's see the wheel. If you all are just joining us for day two of Halloween, hello, my friends. I hope you all are having a great day. This is. Our little spinning ghost wheel. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to spin it. Did you spin it hard or like slow yesterday? Okay, so there's a specific way you have to spin Ooh. this. There's a right way and a wrong there's way. There's a right way and a wrong way. I was spinning it the wrong way Oh, at well, first. It, it goes this way. It goes, Does it, it spin goes... it? Try it the other way. I think it's the other oh, way. Oh, is it the other way? <laughs> oh, wait, well, you need to go clockwise. Try it. That's oh, the way. okay, well, this yep. is it. This is it. Oh, are you going yeah. to spin it? Oh, it's all, oh, oh, no, now Sadie. Hold now, on, yo, I gotta yo, see it. What yo, did it do? Y'all. I can't see it. Come I can see the here. back of You've it. You've gotta come look at it and judge from the front. Okay. It is so close. 100% trick. Is, it is trick. Oh! It is trick. Okay, so here is the box. Let me hold it. Here is the box. She even covered it. She covered oh, oh. You have to stick your hand in and you have to guess what it is. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I saw this on the, I saw this in the floor. Oh my gosh. Wait, is it, is it, it's, it's brown. What, it, it's, it's some type of decor that I think, I saw it in a box. Do you want me to just get it out and just no. show you? What 
What is it? it? It's stuffing that come okay. out of a Dollar Tree pillow. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw it, I thought, I thought you all were going to use it for like some type of decor, <laughs> like to make it like fall. Okay. Oh. Well, there you go. Well, there I'll have you to go. come up with something new for... Something new. Yeah. So this is the 13 days of following Woo, which is super fun. So... Guys, let's talk about our supplies. Let's go overhead today, and we're gonna kind of show you what we're making. So this is the Halloween, like, spooky edition. This one right here is such a fun pennant. All you need today is your hot glue gun. We're using a Lynn Lily hot glue gun. We absolutely love our Lynn Lily. If you've never heard us talk about it, I'm just gonna give a briefing on it. It's amazing. You have two minutes of working time, and notice it's wireless. Here's the stand. You keep it charged right here. It plugs in. If you need more than two minutes of working time, what I want to recommend for you all to do is unplug this and plug this in here and bada bam, bada boom, you have a regular hot glue gun that cannot, you know, stand up. But here, this is awesome. Now, one thing about Lynn Lilly's hot glue gun I want you all to know is that this is a mini hot glue gun. So you use mini sticks, but it has a precision tip so there's kind of a few things working in its favor that makes it our favorite hot glue gun um and it the precision tip the mini the amazing mini sticks the stand the two minutes working time it being wireless i mean guys if you haven't ordered one grab one it's amazing so this is what we're making so we're cutting the faux leather today two layers faux leather one layer heat transfer vinyl then we'll glue it all together with the hot glue and bring it together. These are our Halloween edition. Today, you may be saying, Tanner, you know what? My kid is playing football. I want to take this to a football game. This would be so fun for a photo. That's what we're kind of moving inspiration to because that's still very fall-like. Um, and I think you'll be really impressed. So let's go over supplies. Number one, the hot glue. Number two, your faux leather choices. These are linked down below. These are from 143 Vinyl. Guys, if you've used Cricut's faux leather, you'll love 143's faux leather um, because it cuts just as well, but I have a but. There's way more options and I think it's more affordable, so that's incredible. Next, you're gonna need a sheet of heat transfer vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl comes with a kind of like a built-in transfer sheet on the back. So you'll be able to put it shiny side down. We'll cut out, we're gonna do vols because we're here in East Tennessee. It was game day yesterday. Yep. When, where were we at? Why were we not there? Um, Everyone else was. I would have gone if Asher didn't have, I would have taken Asher if he didn't have school today. Uh, uh, we would have been there. Edie, Edie went, took her son, didn't get home till 11 o'clock last night and he's at school today. So, I mean, we have no excuse. Asher has, <laughs> Asher has spelling tests today. Can't, oh. Can't. Well, he has spelling tests, so. What, do you think they're going, you know, it's a roller coaster with spelling words. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Oh. I, he gets a treat if he gets uh, 105. Aww, so 105, we'll oh my gosh. Yep. That's crazy. But last but not least, what you'll need, some ribbon. We have just all sorts. And let me tell you, it's really easy to do what we'll talk, we'll talk more about it, but different pieces of ribbon kind of all tied together, glued to the back, um, just so that when you shake it, look at this, just do you see guys, do you guys see this? Like just shake it so it just looks a little bit more spooky season. Um, so it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. So let's go ahead. Now you'll also need a Cricut mat. We're using an off-brand mat. Guys, you all know Alicia is all about this mat. Lauren, has it grew on you? No. No, okay. I mean, we're gonna use it today. It's sticky and I appreciate it but just not my favorite one. But anyway, let's head over to Design Space. Um, let's head over to Design Space. So there have been some people, we will update the description. The Lynn Lilly glue gun is not linked below. Mm. We will update the description as soon as it's over. Uh, the live is over. Yeah. We can't do it while we are live, but we will update it as soon as the live is over yeah. for you guys. And we're not using a Cricut Strong Grip mat. We are just using a it says strong grip because it's an off brand. It really, to me, 
feels like a standard standard grip mat. Yeah, okay. with, the, with the paper thin or with this faux leather that we're using, I normally use it on a standard grip mat. Yeah. Um, just as long as you burnish it down really well, yes. or if you want to use a strong grip, it will be fine on yeah. a strong grip too. Whichever, whichever you want, you'll be you'll be well taken care of. So let's head over to Design Space, take a look at what we're looking at. Um, here is a little briefing of what we're going to do. We are going to design our very own little pennant just like this. So we're going to design the black layer. Um, the white layer is kind of already just a basic shape. Then we're going to use a font. And Lauren, you told me the font. Uh, Annie Carroll. Annie Carroll. Let's take a look at that on the Makers to Learn website. So here is our fonts. This is our website. You can just search Annie if you want. Uh, well, if I could spell Annie, that would help. That would help a lot, huh? Annie. I don't think we have, do we have an affiliate link for the Lynn Lily? Or you know, is it I'm not just sure. a link to the website? I think it's just a link. For so the you Sherbond can, website. Yeah, too. you can just go to Sherbond, yeah. there, guys. No worries. I tried dropping it in the comments. I don't know if it's showing up because right. it is a link. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But, um, anyway, so this is Annie Carroll. So what we're going to do is, if you're a member, you can actually test the font out, which is one of our functionalities we love. So, like, we're going to do vols. So this is what we're going to end up doing. And notice that we were able to test it out to see truly how Annie Carroll looked for vols. Now, you also know we did boo. You could do, you know, all sorts Tigers. of different things. I yeah, you could make even bigger. Um, you can make this larger and it'll be really good. Tigers looks really good. I mean, you could do dolphins is another one that like our team. Rams. Rams. Yeah, all of these, all of these are it's, looking good, Lauren. The reason that she chose Annie Carroll is because it is the font, it is the type of font who has, yes. it has a very large uppercase and mm -hmm. smaller lowercase letters. See, notice you did not do this all uppercase. This is no. A, you do the first letter, you know, that and then the rest lowercase. So this is a great font for sports season. I just want you to have this in your back pocket, okay? Annie Carroll is a great one. And of course, Carol, this font looks fabulous. Exactly, exactly, my friend. Um, I love that. So this is your font. Real quick, let's take a look at some of our brand new cut files because they definitely deserve a moment. Yes. If you need to get here and you're a member or not a member, the process is pretty much the same. Makersgonlearn.com. Then you go to cut files. Then you scroll down and there's a button. Hey, let's take a look at that newest collection. Take me there. You click that button, bada beam, bada boom, here you go. Um, a fisherman lives here with the catch of his life. That's hilarious. Um, Lauren, I feel like we could relate to I'm 104% tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little bit, uh, a little dirt never hurt. That's so funny. So notice on this one there, we changed out. This is a four wheeler and then this is a dirt bike. So some of these are like a little bit different. Um, so this has a plane, you know, this is a little bit different. They're little, they're very different. Some of the state ones also throw me for a loop. I'm like, what? So we do a lot of the states and these are just so unique. Some of these print and cut all aboard, print and cut, you know, the animal airplane are really unique and fun. So I wanna encourage you guys to use those. We've encouraged um, personal use for some of our inspired cut falls of the brand new. Yes. So we talked about that in one of our lives before. That is yes. something that's sem semi new to the yes. Makers Gonna Learn website. That emblem, if you see it right there in the top left corner. It's just not for mass production. It's no. for personal use only. Yes. Um, just because it's inspired by, we want to make sure we got your back. So we'll let you guys know anytime we have to do that. Um, we have some ASL, which is really neat. So guys, there's just so many. I mean, we could spend the whole show Looking at cut falls, I'm not going to do that to you, but you can become a member today for $30 off using the coupon code FALL. We'd love to have you. There are also a lot of uh, monoline fonts Ooh, we in this love. release. Yes. Okay. Well, check those out under fonts and new. Our, same, not monoline fonts. I meant Mo monoline files. files. Okay. I was My like, bad. My bad. <laughs> I was like, okay, Lord. <laughs> no, monoline files. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Those will be fun. So I'm going to use this basic um, triangle as kind of like what we're basing ours off of. When you're building your own pennant from basic shapes, you'll need a larger um, 
triangle. So we're just going to grab a shape and we're going to grab a triangle and we're going to rotate this um, 270 degrees, I do believe. Look at that. And we're going to scale it up. I finally got used to the new design space features. Give me a emoji if you all have finally got used to it. Took me a minute. Getting there. Getting there, right, right. Um, so we're just lining this up to make sure it's roughly the right size. So once you're there, that's great. What we'll do is you're going to line up some circles, some basic circles. So you just grab a circle from the basic shapes. Here is what you're going to do next you're going to duplicate about six times. So you're going to need five more. So one, you know, we'll go over here. It does not have to be lined up perfect, and we'll show you why here in a moment. See how we're just lining these up, moving them around. The lining up, if they're up or down, is not really important. But the, the spacing space. out is yeah. the most important part here because yes. we're going to show you a trick that I think you all, if you be are very... a beginner to Cricut, you're going to love it. You yeah. may be a veteran and you know how to use it and you use it all the time. Yeah, exactly. So we're at four. I'm, I'm, I feel like mine are a little close. So I'm just going to take some time, make sure they're spaced out a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Feeling good in the neighborhood. We're going to go select this one, duplicate again. Oh, Carol's been fussing with the new Design Space version. <laughs> y'all are, y'all's emojis aren't meaning, not everybody's giving the best emojis over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we just kind of took these, lined them out. Now what we'll do is we're going to select all of them and we're going to go to align and we're going to align vertically. Okay, so click a, or center vertically. And just like that, it kind of cleans all of them up, okay? It's that simple. So now once they're all cleaned up, we're going to drag this and kind of, you know, move it up here. And then we're going to um, rotate it around. So we're going to get to our rotate area. Do, 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 do. See how it, the cursor's so finicky sometimes? It's wild. That's there the we only go. thing that I'm not really a fan of. Yeah, it, it's new. It's different. So I was holding shift to try to make it like a perfect one. With this project, I wouldn't recommend holding shift. Like it's more of a manual, manual little moving around. And then you want to keep them all selected because you're going to see um, it's really easy to lose them. So you just want to, now I wanted to unselect this. I just need to not, I just need to not have that selected. So. Then I'll select these again, move this down again, bada bing bada boom, and then I'm going to bring these down. I guess the big tip is to kind of yeah. cover up the center. So yes. notice, I, I know this is confusing, hold on one second, let me move, let me delete out these because we don't need these anymore. Do, do, do. I'm going to zoom in for you all so that you can really take a look here at what we're doing. So let me delete this to make it super clean. Zoom on in here. Okay, so this one, you're, once you're zoomed in, it's actually pretty cool. Um, so we're designing our own pennant. So notice I need to move this over and it looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and I believe before I weld this, here's what I want you all to know. Before you weld this, cause you're like, okay, this is looking pretty good. You need to go ahead and duplicate your circles again. So you've got your line of circles and you want to make sure you don't select your triangle, which I have been doing quite a bit. So see here, take those, duplicate, and then you can bring your shape back. Okay. So what we are going to do now, since this was duplicated, I'm going to move these over and go highlight these. And we are going to bring these down and I'm going to rotate these around. It's really just kind of like corner. If you get kind of maneuvering. On down, right there, there we go. Still getting used to it. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about because it's a little crazy. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to line this up here. I want to line this up 
and then I'm going to rotate it again. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do. I probably should change the size a little bit because it looks yeah. like it's not lining up perfect. We want our little um, our little triangle to kind of fit in here. So let's go take that and we're going to move these around. The problem is once you move it and you lose your selection, it's a little trickier. So see here we've got this all Got it all jacked up. <laughs> we are janky. So what, why don't we change the color of the triangle? Yes. To black. Yes. I'm trying to see if I can save it how it is. Um, I have it all rotated a little bit off, I think, um, that I would like to correct it. So I'm just going to change this from gray to black. And now you can kind of see what you're working with a little bit more. And I think where I messed, I don't want to say messed up, but I just went a little bit wrong, was I didn't stretch my circles out exactly how I wanted them in the beginning. So this is a, this is kind of something that I want you all to be aware of. So you can, let's say we want to select our circles without selecting our triangle. You can technically go through, select all of this, and just go through and press command and unselect or shift and unselect your triangle. So this is selecting a triangle, you would unselect it, and then you could go through and you know click on your circles like that. So see, now we can grab these and play around with them some more. I'm trying to see the exact way you to save the project. You could also just flip it mm -hmm. horizontally to get the same angle. Mm. Flip horizontally, okay. That's, so if you duplicate it, flip it horizontally, you yes. have the same angle. Notice that. Yeah. Right, so, right, right. So now that we're here, we should probably flip it back. Yeah. The problem is I think mine just aren't stretched as much as our one earlier was. Because notice this just isn't covering the right way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's okay to leave that on the back end. You could even just add another circle, but we're leaving that open on the back end. Yes. That way when you wrap it, yes. you have that little tab on the back. Right. Right now it looks very odd to me. So let's weld it and see how it looks. So let's click weld and see now you have your pennant and it looks a lot more normal <laughs> because yeah. before I was like, this doesn't look right. So I'm just going to center this a little bit more and then once we're here and this looks better, we're going to make it fully wrap. So like Lauren was saying, it's going to fully wrap. So now we're going to duplicate this. And all we're going to do here is we're actually going to flip vertical, or excuse me, we're going to flip horizontal. And then I'm going to bring these, let them touch. Bada bing, bada boo. Do -do. Do -do. Ta -da. You can have it overlap a little bit. This is going to go around. So our little... Um, our, what do you call the, our little, what? Our stick, not our oh, stick. Oh, dowel rod. Our dowel rod. Our dowel rod yeah. will go right here in the middle, and the hot glue will protect it and kind of keep it in the center. So yeah. now we'll weld this together, and the only thing I've got to do here, this is 12.16 inches. I'm going to scale this down just a tad bit so it'll all fit on the mat. I'm going to bring it down to 11.3, and then look. You bring another shape in, click Arrange, Send to Front. You want to bring this in here. Love that. So remember, it'll it'll kind of rotate down. I gotta scale this down just a tad bit. There you go. And now what we're gonna do is bring in our Annie Carroll font. Remember, guys, mm -hmm. it's so good, Annie Carroll for the fall season. Notice how I went from looking at the Cricut fonts. Go over to system. You want to use those system fonts because that's where you'll find your fonts that are um, makers and learn. So then you type in Annie and look, Annie Carol. And then look, I mean, it already looks good just saying the word text. Like that's so yeah. good. Um, and now you're going to be able to type in, we're going to use Vols. Um, and it's right here. And we're going to go ahead and change that color to orange. And then what we'll do is scale this up. Now we may need to kind of do some manual manipulation, which it kind of looks like we need to do because the V, I mean, I'm here for the V, yeah. but it 
looks like it could be maneuvered a little bit more. So if you guys have never done this, you may be like, how do I do it? So what you need to do, now that you've got your text, your color, your font, we're going to go to advanced and we're gonna click ungroup to letters. Once we're ungrouped to letters, I'm going to select my, um, all, the OLS, so the O, the L, and the S, and then I'll be able to kind of, you know, maneuver this, make it a little bit larger, move it up here, rotate, rotate it. it. Yeah. I was about to say rotate it a little it bit. a little bit. I think this could look really good. Notice how it's a little bit bigger now, and then I could, can kind of move, make the V a little bit smaller, just a tad bit. And then I'm going to bring the OL, L, the OLS over right here. I'm going to bring it over. That way, when we're putting it down with HTV, it's going to look really good. Oh, I could bring that even closer. Hmm. Any more rotating we should do? Should we rotate it down a little bit to fill in this empty I space? I would rotate the OLS diangle, like move it. Yes, I would yeah, yeah. rotate we it fill just a in, little bit. I want to fill in that space right there. Yeah. Um, so the OLS. And another thing you could do is if you wanted to select, we have ungrouped two letters. So really and truly, you can select one letter, make it a little bit bigger, and then get make the yeah. letter smaller as it gets on out through the pennant. Right, 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 right. If you wanted to. It's Look not something that. that you have to. That looks right, perfect. Right, right. I love it. So now that we have the V, the O, the L, the S, this is all one layer, right? So this we don't want to you know, have this separate anymore. We need to go ahead and weld this together. Yes, the Vols is our football team, our college football here. Every time you say, when you said V-O-L, I, I wanted to be like, V-O-L-S. <laughs> this is our college team. I don't know if every state gets so hopped up. We live an hour away from the Vols stadium and things, so it's like, <laughs> Like we, a big deal. We all, like, listen, the amount it's a of, thing. It, we get so hopped up, we are not that great, but we get, we <laughs> oh, have we're not, not, we have at not all. been that great since 98, <laughs> but every year we keep saying, this is our year. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. So look, this is how simple it is. Now, did it take a little bit to get here and to walk through the font, the triangles, the manipulation? Sure. But now we're here. We have our background layer that I believe we're going to cut with this amazing, kind of like smoky shimmer, gray. Smoky gray. That's okay. why I picked that, because it's smoky gray. I like it. So this is going to be, the smoky gray is the background. We've got a white leather for the white triangle. And then we have the orange HTV. If you've never used heat transfer vinyl on faux wood, or faux, <laughs> faux wood. Faux wood. Uh, faux leather, you'll love it today. So look at this. We're going to press make it. We're using the Maker 3. We've got our mat. We've got our... Um, three mats here. And you could even, from the mat, duplicate that so you can do it on both on sides. Yeah. You don't have to duplicate it on the, you can click the mat, then go up on the top, show them that. Yes. Are you saying to cut all, like cut the two pleathers? No. So go to the white mat. Uh-huh. Go up to the amount that you've got on uh -huh. the top. Yeah. Right there. And make it two. Oh, if you're wanting to make multiple. Yes, if you're wanting to make yes. multiple. So look at that. If you have like two, three, if you're going to mass produce, if you're going to sell these, if your your state's really big into their college team, this would be super easy to sell. Um, so you could easily, you know, have these ready to do, for example, 10. Ta -da. See, Ta -da. I, I, I just love that little trick that yeah. I, it took me a while to really figure that out. Well, so I was duplicating on my mat. The problem here is Lauren would look at this and say, now I know I could fit all 10 of these. <laughs> And go and manually uh, manipulate it but anyway. We're not going to. So we're gonna just go back to one, and we're gonna go to map three. We're gonna mirror this. This is the only layer you mirror. So once it's mirrored, we're gonna press continue, and we're gonna connect to our machine via USB. I love connecting via USB. I know there's all kinds of technology and things, but it's tried and true. Um, we're gonna start on map one. So this is our white. We are gonna browse all material. This is our um, faux leather. Yes, you can use the Explore series machine yes. for this because we're only going to be using our fine point Look play because this. this is the faux leather paper thin. Yes. It's amazing. Look at what it's telling us to do. Load in clamp B into the fine point blade. If you have a fine point blade, you can cut this, which is great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our white 
leather onto our mat, just like so. This stuff, I mean, guys, it's so good to cut and whatnot, so I love it. I gave it um, default pressure. I thought maybe I would give it more pressure. I'm not sure. What do you think, Lauren? Should I give it a little more pressure today? I mean, it's not going to hurt it to give it a little more yeah, pressure. Yeah, it's a basic cut, so yeah. I, I wouldn't. It, remember, guys, we like to give more pressure when we're cutting those more um, basic cuts so that there's less room for failure. So we're going to load that in. And then once we're loaded in here, what we're going to do is go measure and make sure we have the right mat in. Oh. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press the flashing play button. Boom. I thought you were about to say the red button of death. <laughs> no. <laughs> the flashing play button. Yay. You might want to go ahead and turn on your um, My easy, easy press. press. Guys, we're using the easy press mini at the second setting today. Um, love it, love it, love it. So, yay. We're just cutting away. And for us, uh, Lauren, you can speak for you. I don't move my stars when I'm cutting faux leather. Not the paper thin faux leather. I don't, which, uh, you know what? I can't say that. Um, now my, my star wheels are um, always to the side. I don't, yeah, I I never, don't know what's wrong with you. I don't ever use my star so, wheels. So, guys, this is a great learning trick. Get your weeding tool out before you unload your mat and kind of poke up your material and be like, oh, did it cut? Well, you can see. Oh. I mean, honey. She cut like butter. So we're just going to unload that. Woohoo! Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love it. So now we're going to trade it out. We're on the mat two. We're on to the smoky gray. Guys, this project is coming together so well. We have 20 minutes left, I feel like, and this is pretty fast. No, Judy. Um, Tanner is not drinking the pumpkin spice. No. But I am. Yes. Lauren's got the pumpkin spice. Guys. Tanner's I, got his vegan journey, which I'm, I'm so proud of him. I, I don't know if I, Lauren, I've, I've lost quite a few pounds. I know. And, a very, um, and I feel not, um, I guess I don't feel limited, even though it is so limiting. <laughs> but I don't feel that way. Like, I don't feel hungry. Um, I did go to a restaurant yesterday, and I was very disappointed with the lack of options, but that's fine. Um, I'm going vegan to test a theory for my doctor. Um, so that will be fun and we'll see. I'm on week two. So we'll press the play button. This is cutting our second layer out. This is so easy. Um, but yeah, my favorite Starbucks drink, and I was actually drinking this for like two years before. Mm -hmm. This is just a cold brew with a splash of oat milk. Um, very basic, no sweetener. Does it matter what side of the faux leather you have facing down? <gasps> That's a great question. Yes. I think different people will give you different options. Before, I want to say before I was cutting 143's faux leather, I always would put mine facing, like the, like the actual leather facing down, and I would cut it backwards. But for some reason, one day, Lauren, I cut it like this. And I've not had one issue since. So that was the same issue that I had with my felt the other day. Yeah. If I use bonded felt, I all I like to cut mm -hmm. it with the bonded side facing up. Yes. Because I feel like I've always gotten cleaner cuts with that. Yes. Um, for some reason, this cricket did not like that. I know. And so I put the bonded side down, and it's it cut great. I love. So I, I mean, don't know. It's really guys crafting is is it's crafting even with a cricket because it's a journey. You know this is technology, and we have been blessed by the ability to do things I would personally never be able to cut with scissors or an exacto knife and things like that. But you know you're still the operator, and I think that's why crafting with a cricket is still so important because you, you're still, you know, making informed decisions um, and things like that. Now, for this setting, I'm using Everyday Iron On with more pressure as well. Yep. So. Um, so, Michelle asked, do hey, the Michelle. white roller things. So, just FYI. We call these stars. We call them, we, we call them whatever. With their technical term are star wheels. Yep. With the paper thin faux leather that you can get from 143, they do not mess with the leather. It's fine. Um, I'm the type of person, listen, I push those things all the way to the side and I never to use them. Lauren needs to be using these for cardstock, vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, and no. so do you guys at home. <laughs> no. I, 
but listen, they they are, you know. I think I'm not I'm not hating on my them. debate. My debate with that is a lot of times when let's just pick on Lauren. When Lauren's on Matt me. is going to be very weak. That I mean, you're, she's depending 100% on the strength of the mat to keep everything in position. A little grab, you know, a little something, something like our star wheels holding those papers, holding the vinyls, holding the heat transfer vinyl, etc., in place. In addition to the adhere, like the adhesive on the mat, is that perfect meat in the middle? I mean, maybe that's why I use a lot of painters tape. <laughs> Wait, you're using? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Guys. I'm just joking. <laughs> Listen, listen. I wouldn't put it past you, Lauren. But I'm, I, really I, I also use a stronger grip mat a lot of the time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean, listen. So. It's whatever. Every crafter it's whatever is your so boat. different. Yeah. And we we just want to create a space where people feel that they can use painters tape if they want to yeah. adhere their things down. I will say, the Cricut team. You know, we sometimes are not a fan of every Cricut product. I'm sure everyone here could respect that because they have such a wide variety of products now, right? We don't have to love everything. But I will say when it comes to the Cricut machines, they kind of have spent, you know, they've been doing this a lot longer than I have since like 2004, developing machines. And if they develop these star wheels, I'm sure there's a reason. Maybe we need to bring on yeah. an engineer to explain to us why. <laughs> Renee says, Lauren does what she wants. That's right. I'm a rebel. <laughs> rebel. If you only knew. Yep. If you knew. Um, would you, Michelle also asked, would hey, you Michelle. move them with thicker leather? Yes. Absolutely. So yes, if yes, you yes. have a thicker material, including um, basswood, mm -hmm. like tooling leather, there are quite a few different materials that you're going to use that move those star wheels yeah. for that it's not going to fit through your machine. Um, we also had somebody ask, is Dollar Tree leather comparable to this leather? I couldn't, I, I honestly, I've used it. It's I've not close. used it, so I, I don't know. I, I, would, I would use it for this project if oh, you have sure. it. Um, this is a great project to use it for. You may notice a few slot differences, but for the price difference and things like that, I would be fine using it. Like, I feel like you're getting a good deal. Now we're using the mini press today at level two. You guys heard me mention that already. I go really fast. We don't want to melt anything. And I'm not using a mat today. I'm just using the grace of God. So there we go. I've not used a mat with a mini press. And hey, once again, Lauren. rebel, uh, rebel. Oh. <laughs> Look at this guys. I mean, it went, it went really fast, really well. It's now adhered on there for a long time. We're going to now position our balls onto the main piece i'm just using we had some someone ask glue. us do we have any opinions on the starcraft solo so um, i think the lights are cool but to be real <laughs> honest i've not used it well let's talk but about like it once or maybe once so with the starcraft solo it is a different um if you are interested in a cricket machine i do not think the starcraft solo is for you Mm -hmm. You're going to get a better experience with a Cricut, Silhouette, etc. than you would with a StarCraft Solo. If you are interested or currently running a business where you are making a lot of stickers, where you are doing a lot of things of the sorts, that would be really um, a great investment for you because you, could, you have a lot more freedom, okay? So it kind of depends on that. Um, I just want you all to be really aware. I, I personally wouldn't consider the StarCraft machine user friendly in that regard. So just be careful when you're making those decisions. There's not a lot of training on StarCraft solos. There's not a lot of StarCraft solos on the market just yet. Um, so I'm excited to see the innovation there. I'm excited to see that they're an amazing team and I think they will get there. Um, but I will say there's some, there are, we are aware that there's some new machines coming to the market. Mm. So I'm excited to learn more. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking my pennant right here, getting some really good adhesive, some glue, thick glue in the center first. I wanna make sure this is gonna be adhered down first. This is top priority. Now, I wanna show you a difference. This one was just an enlarged one and we hot glued and wrapped it over. This one we thought it would be better so that on the back, it's more um, leather. 
So that's what we've done different for this version. That's mm -hmm. one thing I love when our team gets to test. You know, this is version one, amazing, but how can we make it better for the live? This is what we came up with. Now, and one thing I would add, I know we're not going to today. If you were going to add the ribbons, <gasps> I would probably yes. go ahead and go add ahead them and now that. before you yeah. sandwich it over yeah. and tie glue up, it. Tie up your ribbon and then what you'll be able to do, just pick the ones that you want. And we did probably about six inches. So you would just get your scissors, you know, roughly, roughly six inches or so cut this i'll kind of walk you guys through this while that's drying dun, 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 dun. our ribbons need help oh uh, our ribbon box needs okay. help okay but yeah about six inches for each color you could do a bunch of them tie it together or something at the top and then just glue it down here in the bottom you'll be good to go but if you don't want to use it that's kind of what we're gonna do for this one and then here is where you want to make sure you're kind of lining everything up to meet just like so it is gonna be a little finicky at first but there will be a way to do this it might not line up perfect um but that's okay you don't have to do it this way as well I'm trying to line up the bottom okay so we kind of have this here so what we're gonna do is once we have this lined up, we will be able to grab it here. Okay, so this is how it actually lays. If it lay, if, if I was naturally gonna let it lay, it would have like this darker color at the bottom. So I think I'm gonna embrace the darker color at the bottom. Look at that. I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. Because so, what's happening here is the they're not exactly lining up together. What you could do to avoid it. Avoid it is duplicate your two triangles, yeah. select them both, center them mm. smack dab in the center, go to your layers panel, select one, flip it horizontally. Yes, so that when it truly flips, they are it, it's It starts perfect. here and it literally just flips this way, That's like cool. a book. But I'm embracing this and if you guys end up making this and you run into this too, because I remember our first version, we just did one layer but you had a little, you know, the, the back didn't look as clean. Look what this back is going to look like. So I embraced a little kind of extra element down here. Again, I love it, but look at our back. Now you just have the extra element over there. So it kind of looks a little bit more intentional. And again, being crafters, you gotta roll with some punches sometimes. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. So let us know what you would do different. How about that? So then again, add your ribbons in here. You have the vols, you have the boo, you could do a pink one. Look at all that. Look at all of this. Oh my goodness. What a fun, different variation. If you're wondering, Lauren, where did we get the pattern ones? Is Are these also for 143? No, I think the they're pattern really cool. ones came from... They're thick. They're thicker. Um, but I still think she cut them on faux leather. I think so leather. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just she did feels, still cut them on faux leather. I think she got them from firmer. Amazon. I love that. Yeah, I mean, both of these are really firm. Um, but these are just probably a little bit more firm, firmer. Um, and they're so fun. I love this. So, so good. I'll bring all three of them over. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. How about it? Okay. They love them. And they I'm like. I'm shocked at how fast that was. Listen, we're under an hour. That's, that that's was saying something. Fast. And I will say the trickier part was the confidence in me actually welding it. Because yeah. for some reason, as you're building it, as you're taking your circles and you're lining them up, when I looked at it before I welded it, I was like, this is going to look so wild. Um, and then I welded it. I was like, okay, it's a normal pennant. Um, um, somebody asked what the boo on the skeleton was made. It's still HTV. It's just yeah. like a matte HTV. Ooh, let me feel it. Yeah. It's, yeah, totally it's normal. Yeah. Totally normal HTV. It looks really cool. Um, the ribbon, again, is a great element. Just to cut a bunch, tie it up at the top, you'll be good to go. Um, what we actually did was we, instead of the cutting it the way I did, that we just cut 12 inches and then fold it in the middle to yep. the ribbon, tied at the top. So really yep. easy, really, really simple. Yeah, guys, this would be an easy one to sell, make and sell. I mean, like, do if this you, for the sports team. Yes, and do it Ooh. like, I can just, I just imagine like a little um, photo op. I know. I love it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little photo. That's so Yay. fun. Oh my gosh, what size did you make the circles? Oh, that is such a great question. Do you want me to pop over? I can kind of, I think it was point three. Was yeah. it point three? 
I think it's some. I mean, you can play around with play it. Play around I think with it for the size of your pennant. Because remember, you're creating your pennant from scratch. Because if you look at these, like your pennant is a little bigger. Uh -huh. So the circles, the scallops are going to be a little bigger. Yeah. Um, probably around 0.3 to 0.5 and maybe even smaller depending on how big your yeah. pennant is. It really depends. You can make this as large or as small as you want it. Yep. Like I could go in there and scale this up, you know, pretty big if I wanted to put this. You could honestly take away, you know, your rod mm -hmm. and you could just have a really awesome pennant that you could hang up or that you could use as decor, mm -hmm. use it as a party, um, you know, things like that. Someone said wedding photo booth. <gasps> exactly. Now Super you kind of know what to do it like and what you could do, obviously their color scheme for the wedding and mm -hmm. then put like, you know, with their last name yeah. or the last one that name. says Mr. and Mrs. That would be cool. Whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, again, who knew you at following you would learn so many possibilities, right? I know. Right? I mean, really and truly you can take this general tutorial, mm -hmm. let's just say, I'm just thinking like, you could do like the glasses with the faux leather because oh. the faux leather is a great way to, uh, a great material to do this with because it kind of sticks out on it its does. own. On its own, Like the glasses where you could put yeah. them up to your face, like a little mustache, you would just duplicate it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. two of them, and then attach it with like a square. I love it because again, so the backing, I really like the backing and all those, the, the glasses, the mustache and things like that would be really easy and again mm -hmm. it's like it's sturdy so great would be great glasses things like or that. Or you could make it and attach it to a um, a string oh, or a piece of jute to make. That would be fun. Yeah there's Look so many Guys, literally so many things you can leather, do with design this. design space the Annie Carroll font you've got a lot of things to be working on this weekend. Yesterday's project mm -hmm. was very impressive the additives and mm -hmm. the puff. I mean, oh my goodness. Yeah. So what we, did everyone we think did, of that? We, you we had a lot of people. We did. We didn't have, we didn't do the puff yesterday, <clears throat> but I did have a lot of people ask, hey, are you going to do a, um, a tutorial on the puff? And that yes. might be something we need to look into doing because yes. that puff additive, I love it. I love the puff additive. I'm obsessed with the puff additive. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like it was like fully manufactured. Maybe I should do a head to head. Puff Additive versus Puff HTV, which is better? Have y'all, if you're new around here. We know which one is going to win. <laughs> my first live stream at my home, at our new house after we moved in, was me testing this new Puff HTV. I remember that. I was like, what? I was like, <laughs> should I quit? Like, I felt so embarrassed after that video. I was like, what? What? In the world. I was like, what am I doing? What am I? <laughs> What am I doing wrong? I was like, I don't like this stuff. The puff additive is so cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, yesterday you taught screen print, but I really mm -hmm. love the, the additive. I, I, I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Yeah. So anyway, I hope y'all are having a great week. This is Friday. We will be back here. We're going to be live Monday. Monday. We're going at live Monday at 10. To celebrate Labor Day. Yes. Um, it'll be so much fun. Do we know what we're making on Monday? Monday. I mean, we have videos over the weekend, too. We do have what videos the over ones, the weekend. Do we know the ones that so we're doing? So, I am, the vi one of the videos over the weekend is going to be the porch leaning, the leaning <gasps> porch sign, Ooh. and then the second one is going to be sublimation bows. Uh -huh. That is going to premiere. Um, over the weekend? Yes, today is the second. Yep. So, the third. third and fourth. Third is going to be the porch sign. So, tomorrow is the porch sign. Sunday is going to be the no so baby bows plus sublimation. Love it. And then on Monday, Monday is you can going cut leather. Leather and, and felt. felt. So we are going to be making um garland. That'll be fun. Interchangeable garland wow. that you can use all year round. I love it. We've got Dollar Tree parts of this garland that you're gonna be super impressed with. We've got cutting, we're cutting felt, stiff oh, yeah. felt. Oh, We're yeah. cutting leather. All of this can be done crazy, on a maker crazy, or crazy, an explorer. Crazy. It's going to be so good. So 10 a.m. Yep. on Monday to celebrate the holiday with us. We cannot wait, and we'll see you there. Who knows? Maybe we'll give away a trick. Maybe we'll give away a treat. Maybe. You never know. But if you're not a member here at Makers and Learn, become a member over the weekend. Join us. Use the coupon code FALL, F-A-L-L, at checkout if you need to grab your membership. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We cannot wait to see you back here over the weekend for recorded videos. Yep. And Monday for another live stream. Happy holiday weekend, my friends. Anything else? I think that's it. See you guys later. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.